Let's call Robert Cohen and tell Shirley to arrange hotel accommodations, pick up loader report. Meet with Dr. Ackerman. Meeting with Abby Ewing. Meeting with adoption agency. left already. Did you see the, uh, Galveston? Yes. Is there something I can help you with? No. It's all right. Your first priority. You promised you'd do it right away. Abby, that was last night. And? I put a call into him first thing this morning. Well, you have to get through to He him. hasn't returned it yet. Well, call him again. I will. Look, stop by tomorrow night for a drink. I'll know something by then. I'll come by your office. Not here. My hotel suite. What time? Seven. Okay. I'll see you then. What do you have to say? Who? Paul Galveston. What is it? What? Why all the urgency? Well, Gary, after... I mean, after everything that, that's been going on, you know, Max, investigation, you're being in Tennessee, we haven't been able to do anything on Empire Valley, and all of a sudden Paul Galveston calls and asks you for a meeting, I just wondered what he had to say. He wasn't there. What? I didn't talk to him because he wasn't there. Oh. Respirator, EKG, oxygen. Close it up. What can I do for you? I want to see Paul Galveston. Oh, he can't see anyone today. Can't? He's very busy. Well, I think he'll want to see me when you tell him who it is. Abby Ewing. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'll tell him you were here. Are you going to talk to him? I don't know. You told me you would have talked to him by now. It's been two days. Believe me, you have nothing to worry about. Meaning? Just what I said. You haven't said a damn thing. You haven't been listening. What exactly happened when you tried to reach him? You have nothing to worry about, trust me. Look, I know that you don't want to know what this is all You're about. You're right, I don't. Galveston has some information about me. He's threatening to tell Gary. If he does tell Gary... He it... won't. I was out at the uh, ranch today, and I saw uh, 
a truck with medical equipment. What do you know about Paul Galveston's health? I promise you, Paul Galveston will not say a word. I'm sorry I'm late. Hi. There's some dinner in the oven if you want any. Galveston ever get together on that idea of his about you running the television station in Pearl Valley? What? You know, you remember in your office, sir? Oh, yeah, well, uh, he asked me to do it and I said I would. Uh, do you ever say anything out of the ordinary about it? Anything about Empire Valley? No. Wh why? Did something come up? No, probably nothing. I'll talk to him about it tomorrow. <sighs> I love you a lot. You know that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing's going on. Does something have to be going on for me to tell you I love you? No. Yeah. I've just had a good day. Hmm. Want to make it better? Yeah. No. Don't you think we ought to talk to Gary before we make any decisions? Well, if we want this work done, we have to alert the contractors this afternoon. I want to discuss it with Gary. Well, when do you expect him? I'm sure he won't be long. No, I don't have an appointment with him. I've never needed one before. I'm sorry you came all this way for nothing. Then when do you expect him back? Mr. Galveston didn't say. We're ready to start the grading for the road work. I don't know anything about it. Paula and I have to co-sign this in order for anything to move forward. It can't wait any longer. Um, are you keeping something from me? Maybe I can get it to him in the afternoon pouch. Why are you so calm about it all of a sudden? About what? Paul Galveston. The last time Gary went to see him, you were a bundle of nerves. What's your problem, Karen? No problem. As everyone's being kept off the ranch. Nielsen told me Galveston wasn't there. And there's been a lot of comings and goings. Has Maxine Galveston? No! Abby, when was the last time you saw Galveston? Uh... I don't remember. No, you know when it was? Uh, the other day in my office when he asked me about the TV station. Oh, something's changed. Something's changed. I just, I know it. I, I just feel it. It's almost like a coup d'etat, but that's impossible. I mean, Galveston is still in control of his company, isn't he? Of course. You know, Mac thinks the two young women who were killed might have stumbled onto some secret project or something. Maybe that's why they were murdered. My hands are tied. I put everything into Empire Valley, not just what I own, but me. Personally, my future, my credibility. I'm ready to roll, more than ready, and I can't get through to my partner. Well, maybe your partner can't get through to you. You think he's being held back? Well, I don't know. It's a possibility. But why? Maybe he can't talk to you. Look, just, just say what you mean, all right? Well, why would Paul Galveston be acting like this? I'm not sure anymore. Sometimes you find out you don't know somebody as well as you thought you did. Well, suppose something had happened to him. Like what? I don't know. He, he's not a young man. If something did happen, the whole power structure would change. Not with Empire Valley. Well, 
You never know. Maybe it's time to pull out, cut your losses. Mr. Ewing? Uh, it's okay. Thank you. I talked to Paul Galveston this afternoon. And he's very sorry for any inconvenience you may have suffered on his account. Uh, he urges you to continue progress, and he gave me this to help you along. What's that? The authorization to begin the grading on the road work. Co-signed by Paul Galveston. This afternoon. Well, I hope this solves at least some of your problems.